In mathematics, the generalized minimal residual method is an iterative method for the numerical solution of a non-symmetric system of linear equations. The method approximates the solution by the vector in a Krelov subspace with minimal residual. The Arnold D iteration is used to find this vector. The GMRES method was developed by Yusuf Saad and Martin H. Schultz in 1986. GMRES is a generalization of the MINRES method developed by Chris Page and Michael Saunders in 1975. GMRES also is a special case of the DIIS method developed by Peter Pulley in 1980. DIIS is also applicable to nonlinear systems. The method denote the Euclidean norm of any vector by denote the system of linear equations to be solved by the matrix is assumed to be invertible of size by. Furthermore, it is assumed that is normalized, i.e., that the TH Krelov subspace for this problem is GMRES approximates the exact solution of by the vector that minimizes the Euclidean norm of the residual. The vectors might be almost linearly dependent, so instead of this basis, the Arnold D iteration is used to find orthonormal vectors which form a basis for. Hence, the vector can be written as with whereas the bimatrix formed by the Arnold D process also produces an hence can be found by minimizing the Euclidean norm of the residual. This is a linear least squares problem of size. This yields the GMRES method. On the TH iteration, calculate with the Arnold D method. Find the which minimizes. Compute. Repeat if the residual is not yet small enough. At every iteration, a matrix vector product must be computed. This costs about floating point operations for general dense matrices of size, but the cost can decrease to for sparse matrices. In addition to the matrix vector product, floating point operations must be computed at the TH iteration. Convergence the NTH iterate minimizes the residual in the Krelov subspace knots. Since every subspace is contained in the next subspace, the residual decreases monotonically. After M iterations, where M is the size of the matrix A, the Krelov space Km is the whole of room and hence the GMRES method arrives at the exact solution. However, the idea is that after a small number of iterations, the vector xn is already a good approximation to the exact solution. This does not happen in general. Indeed, a theorem of Greenbaum, Pt, A, K and Strakos states that for every monotonically decreasing sequence A1, AM minus 1, AM equals 0, one can find a matrix A such that the Rn equals N for all N, where Rn is the residual defined above. In particular, it is possible to find a matrix for which the residual stays constant for M minus 1 iterations and only drops to zero at the last iteration. In practice, though, GMRES often performs well. This can be proven in specific situations. If A is positive definite, then where and denote the smallest and largest eigenvalue of the matrix, respectively. If A is symmetric and positive definite, then we even have where denotes the condition number of A in the Euclidean norm. In the general case, where A is not positive definite, we have where Pn denotes the set of polynomials of degree at most n with P equals 1. V is the matrix appearing in the spectral decomposition of A, and sigma is the spectrum of A, roughly speaking. This says that fast convergence occurs when the eigenvalues of A are clustered away from the origin and A is not too far from normality. All these inequalities bound only the residuals instead of the actual error, that is, the distance between the current iterate xn and the exact solution. Extensions of the method Like other iterative methods, GMRES is usually combined with a preconditioning method in order to speed up convergence. The cost of the iterations grow as O, where n is the iteration number. Therefore, the method is sometimes restarted after a number, say k, of iterations, with xk as initial guess. The resulting method is called GMRES or restarted GMRES. 
This method suffers from stagnation in convergence as the restarted subspace is often close to the earlier subspace. The shortcomings of GMRES and restarted GMRES are addressed by the recycling of Creeley-Love subspace in the GCRO type methods such as GCROT and GCRODR. Comparison with other solvers The Arnold D iteration reduces to the Lanczos iteration for symmetric matrices. The corresponding Creeley-Love subspace method is the minimal residual method of Page and Saunders. Unlike the unsymmetric case, the Minras method is given by a three-term recurrence relation. It can be shown that there is no Creeley-Love subspace method for general matrices, which is given by a short recurrence relation and yet minimizes the norms of the residuals, as GMRES does. Another class of methods builds on the unsymmetric Lanczos iteration, in particular the BICG method. These use a three-term recurrence relation, but they do not attain the minimum residual, and hence the residual does not decrease monotonically for these methods. Convergence is not even guaranteed. The third class is formed by methods like CGS and Big Stab. These also work with a three-term recurrence relation and they can even terminate prematurely without achieving convergence. The idea behind these methods is to choose the generating polynomials of the iteration sequence suitably. None of these three classes is the best for all matrices, there are always examples in which one class outperforms the other. Therefore, multiple solvers are tried in practice to see which one is the best for a given problem. Solving the least squares problem One part of the GMRES method is to find the vector which minimizes note that is in by n matrix. Hence it gives an over-constrained linear system of n plus 1 equations for n unknowns. The minimum can be computed using a QR decomposition. Find n by orthogonal matrix omega n and n by n upper triangular matrix such that the triangular matrix has one more row than it has columns. So its bottom row consists of zero. Hence, it can be decomposed as where is an n by n triangular matrix. The QR decomposition can be updated cheaply from one iteration to the next, because the Hessenberg matrices differ only by a row of zeros and a column, where Hn plus 1 equals T. This implies that pre-multiplying the Hessenberg matrix with omega n, augmented with zeros and a row with multiplicative identity, yields almost a triangular matrix. This would be triangular if sigma is zero. To remedy this, one needs the Givens rotation where with this Givens rotation, we form indeed, is a triangular matrix. Given the QR decomposition, the minimization problem is easily solved by noting that denoting the vector by with GNRN in gamma n r. This is the vector y that minimizes this expression is given by again. The vectors are easy to update.